Hamada. I'm recording another WordPress video tutorial. Hi, in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz using the Learn LMS software. So, an LMS is a learning management system, and Learn Dash is a great tool for creating any kind of a digital course, whether it's for education or employee onboarding or training, um, any type of, of a digital course that you want to offer, either for free or paid with their built in. Uh, e-commerce capabilities, LearnDash is a great resource. In addition to creating courses, they also have quizzes, and the quizzes can be a part of a course or it can be a standalone uh, by itself. So this demo is going to show you uh, briefly how to create a quiz using the LearnDash LMS plugin. One of the first things you'll want to do when you go to the LearnDash plugin and click on quizzes is to click on the settings. And you'll want to enter in the uh, email information for the quiz results. So you're going to put you know, your email in to receive the administrative notifications and what information you want to see. And you're also going to set up the notification for the user so that they can see the results from their quiz as well. Then you go to all quizzes and we'll go ahead and add a new quiz. And one of the nice things about this is that you know it starts off similar to creating any kind of a page uh, on WordPress. This is the landing page that people will see when they go to take your quiz. So you'll enter a title for the page, and then you want to enter in some type of description uh, or content to describe what the quiz is about. And they have a nice quiz builder uh, field here. We can go right into the builder, and it just kind of walks you through creating uh, the quiz. So you'll just click on new question to add the first question in. And you want to enter your label in here. This is for the back end for you to see the different questions. I usually just put in the, the question itself as a label, but sometimes I'll change it if I want to be more succinct. Once you've created your, your label, you're going to hit the drop down here. And you'll enter in the question. And this is what the user will see as they're taking the quiz. And you'll save your question title. Then you choose what type of a question this is. So single choice means, you know, obviously there's only one correct answer. Multiple choice is multiple correct answers. Uh, free choice is they're going to type in uh, the answer. Sorting is where there's going to be, you know, three or four or five options, and then they'll have to sort and put them in the correct order. Uh, matrix sorting is just a more advanced version of that. Fill in the blank. You're going to have a, a full, you know, sentence or two, and, and they have to type in a couple of the blank words. Uh, you have assessment and you have essays. So several different options here for the type of questions. Another neat feature is that you can adjust the scoring for each question. So if you want to have a point system, some questions can be worth more points than others uh, if you'd like to have a rating system that way. Then you just need to set up the answers. So you know they by default have the answer A here. And so we'll go ahead and put in the first answer is yes. And then we'll click update answer. And a new answer, we're going to have a yo, a no. This is just a, a yes or a no question, of course. And we'll add answer. And you know, is WordPress a great CMS? Well, obviously, yes, it is. So we're going to mark the correct answer as yes. They also have settings here for each question to where you can provide feedback to the user as they're taking the quiz. So if you want to give them you know, feedback for getting the correct answer, hey, you're right. That's great. You can do that. Um, you could also give some feedback if they uh, could choose the incorrect answer. Additionally, you can offer uh, solution hints. So if you have you know, questions that may be a tough question or if you want to answer, um, I'm sorry, if you want to offer a hint to the user, you can do that. Um, and then they're able to click on that to uh, view any hints as they're taking the, quest, uh, taking the quiz. And you'll just save that. And then we'll go ahead and add in our second question here. And this one, we're going to add in a multiple choice question. Uh, so we want to list some features that uh, we want the user to check all of the features that are applicable to LearnDash. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And we're going to choose the drop down and make this a multiple choice question. And we're going to add the question in here for them to see. And then we'll start putting our answers in. 
So we'll say courses. We have lessons. We'll add answer. We'll add quizzes. So we'll click on new answer and then add answer. And then we'll have a few, of course, that are incorrect also. So for each one, you're just going to click on new answer, type in your answer, and click add answer. And we'll do one more. None of the above is, is usually a nice option to have. And then you're going to go over here on the right, and you're going to mark which of these answers are correct. So these are the ones that the user should check as they're taking the quiz. So, you know, check all the features that Learn Dash offers, Learn Dash offers you know, digital courses, lessons, and quizzes. Another nice feature is that you can quickly and easily change the order of the answers here just by dragging and dropping. So we can go ahead and move things around so we don't have all the correct or incorrect answers together. And it's usually pretty good, uh, pretty standard to keep none of the above as the last option. So for the user to get 100% um, on the quiz and on this question, they would have to check all three of these correct answers here. All right, we'll go ahead and add in one last question for our sample quiz here. So we'll add the question label. And we'll click the drop down here and we'll add the question in for them to see and click save. And this one's gonna be a free choice question. What does LMS stand for? And we want them to uh, go ahead and type in the answer here. Learning management system. And we'll update that. And the last thing we do is hit publish, similar to creating any kind of a page or a post. And then we'll go ahead and view our quiz. And as I mentioned, it takes you to a landing page here, and we have our, our content on the page. And I, and I suggest, you know, selling your, your quiz here, maybe, you know, images and, and a description of what the quiz is for. And then the user would just click on Start Quiz, and then they can go through and they can answer the questions, choose whatever answer they want. If, the, if you entered a hint, then this button shows up here so they can see the hint. And we'll go ahead and choose the answers here. And it will say finish quiz. And then one nice feature of this also is that it gives them the results right away. So they complete the quiz. It shows them you know, how many of the questions they answer correctly, what their percentage is, and even the time of how long it took them to take the, the quiz. Um, if they would like, they could take it over again. Uh, or if the quiz is part of a course, they would just click here to continue on to the next lesson. All right, I hope this helped uh, teach you how to create a quiz using the LearnDash plugin. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. You can find more videos and articles on our website, devadime.com. And feel free to join us on social media. You can find at devadime on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you did find this video helpful, I would love for you to let me know on Twitter. Just tweet me with the hashtag DevadimeVideoTutorial.